Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Edureka. I am Ravi and today we will discuss about Java developer skills. Java is the most popular and evergreen programming language in the world of IT industry. This is the reason why Java developers are in a steady race of upgrading their skills. This video exclusively targets on the crucial Java developer skills required in the year 2019. So without wasting much time, let us quickly have a peek on the agenda for today's discussion. Firstly, we shall understand who exactly is a Java developer. Followed by that, we shall discuss the key stages about how to become a Java developer. And after that, we shall discuss the overview of Java developer skills. And followed by that, the key skills required to become a Java developer. And finally, the salary details of a Java developer. Now, let us start with our first topic, which is who is a Java developer? Java developer is a computer software developer, a programmer who integrates Java programming language into the development of mobile and computer applications, web development, and other sorts of requirements needed at both client and server end. Now, with this, let us move on to our next topic, which is how to become a Java developer. To become a Java developer, there are basically three stages. In the first stage, you have to earn a college degree. The first stage requires you to complete a qualification in computer science with a focus on software development. This could be any degree related to computer science and information technology or you can either choose Bachelor of Engineering or Bachelor of Technology in the field of computer science or information technology. In the next stage, you need to get certified with Java. The second stage requires you to complete an online or an offline course specializing in core and advanced Java. Trying out online examples is a good way to develop your specialization in Java. And in the third stage, you need to get experienced. The third stage needs you to look for a placement or an internship program while studying. This will provide you with relevant experience as well as guidance and mentorship from experienced software developers. And finally, you become an experienced and professional Java developer. With this, let us move on to our next topic, which deals with the Java developer skills overview. When you Google for the skills required to become a Java developer, you have a lot of skills showing up. Now, we shall categorize the skills required for Java developers into two variants. Firstly, the Java developer skills, technical, and later, the soft skills of a Java developer. Firstly, the technical skills. The technical skills required for a Java developer are, he must be well known with core Java. The core Java includes object-oriented programming techniques as well as the design patterns in Java, abstract classes in Java, interface, and serialization. Followed by that, we have ORM. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. So in this skill, you need to be well versed with Hibernate, Java Persistence API, Eclipse Link, OpenJPA. And after that, you have the Java Build Tools. Java Build Tools are the most crucial skills required by every Java developer. Some of the most important build tools are Maven and Gradle. Followed by that, we have Web Technologies. A Java developer should be well versed with CSS, HTML, jQuery, and JavaScript. Followed by that, he or she must be exposed to Java web frameworks like MVC, Play, Java server faces, and next to the Java web frameworks, we have application containers. The most trending application containers are JBoss, Jetty, WebSphere, and WebLogic. And next, we have Java testing tools. TestNG, JUnit, and Selenium are the most trending top testing tools for Java. And later, we have Big Data. The Java developers must be well versed with DBMS, Hadoop, SQL, and JDBC. Next, we have Java EE components. The most important Java EE components are servlets, Java beans, Java server pages, and finally, the code version control, which is GitHub. Don't worry, we shall discuss each and every one of them in detail for a better understanding in our next topic, which happens to be the skills required for a Java developer. Firstly, we shall discuss core Java. The most basic and essential skills required to become a Java developer is the core Java. Core Java skills are the building blocks of every successful Java developer. The crucial core Java skills that most recruiters are looking for are firstly, the object oriented programming skills. Object oriented programming approach introduces class and object style of coding that deals with the concept of inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism. The main motto of object oriented programming is to bind the data with the functions together and improve the code stability and safety. Followed by that, we have design patterns. 
design patterns in Java are the standard solutions followed to solve routine problems faced in software designing lifecycle. Every design pattern acts as a blueprint that allows customization to solve any given design problem in any code during the development of software modules. Followed by design patterns, we have abstract classes in Java. Abstract classes in Java help the developers to achieve abstraction. Abstraction in object oriented programming reduces code complexity by showing the relevant details of the objects used in the program and enhances code readability. Followed by abstract classes in Java, we have inheritance. Java inheritance is an advanced level of achieving abstraction in Java programming language. The interface in Java enables a better and efficient way of achieving abstraction. Followed by this, we have serialization. Serialization in Java is a concept that deals with the conversion of objects into a byte stream and transport the Java objects from one Java virtual machine to another and recreate them to the original form. Serialization enables developers to meet various factors in real time programming. With this, let us move on to the next stage where we shall discuss about the Java build tools. Depending on the task assigned, developers need to use a specific tool for every particular task. For a Java developer, understanding the terminology of build tools in Java comes handy as Java build tools are the programs that automate the creation of executable applications. Build tools that one must know are Maven and Gradle. Followed by this, we shall discuss the web technologies. Web technologies provide a simplified and faster way to create dynamic web content. Having a better grip on web technology is important as it helps to understand the technique of establishing communication between multiple computer systems via markup languages. It gives a way to interact with host for the information like websites and it involves HTML jQuery and CSS at the most. Followed by this we shall discuss Java web frameworks. To build a mobile application with best features and limited code, Java web frameworks are the best in class solutions. They support the development of web applications including web services, web resources and web APIs in a standard way to build and deploy web applications on World Wide Web. Some of the best in class frameworks are Spring MVC and Play. Followed by this, we shall discuss Java application containers. Java application container is an application program in which the software building blocks known as the compartment can be run. Application containers are designed to provide multiple functionalities such as to provide user authentication, logging or establishing a connection with the database. Top notch application containers are JBoss and Jetty. With this, let us move on to the next stage where we shall discuss the Java testing tools. Java tests with an interface where you don't have to actually launch your application onto a web browser. They support multiple test activities from planning, requirements, creating a build, test execution, defect logging and test analysis. Some of the major testing tools that a Java developer should be well versed with are Selenium and TestNG. With this, let us move on to our next topic which is Big Data. Big Data has become a trillion dollar industry and handling such a huge amount of data has become close to impossible by traditional data processing software. Learning big data technologies will help the developers to analyze and extract information from complex data sets. Some of the powerful big data technologies are Hadoop and Spark. Now with this, let us move on to the next topic for our discussion, which is Java EE components. Java EE components or enterprise components. The Java enterprise components enable developers to write server side applications. One of the most common challenges that an enterprise developer faces is to how to handle requests coming from web based clients. To ease this challenge, Java Enterprise provides the Java servlet and Java server pages APIs that enable methods for logging activities using cookies on a user's browser and simplify these kind of issues and provide the best solution. Some major Java Enterprise components are servlets, Java beans, and Java server pages. With this, let us move on to the next topic, which is code version control. Code version control allows developers to keep track of their work and helps easily to explore any changes they made in their data, coding, scripts, commits, etc. That is much smoother and easier to implement. With this, let us discuss the second stage of Java developer skills, which are the soft skills. Soft skills are people skills, communication skills, character, and social intelligence, among others. Soft skills enable people to navigate their environment, work well with others, perform well and achieve their goals. Now the first soft skill that we will discuss today is the communication skill. Good communication skills include active listening where you have to pay close attention to the person who is speaking to you 
and try adapting your communication style to your audience and convey your message in a better manner followed by this the next one is open to learning knowledge is never ending successful java developers should always be open to learning new upgrades in the technology and keep themselves updated the next one is teamwork teamwork is a collaborative effort of a team to achieve common goal and to complete a task in the most efficient and effective way the next one is work ethics work ethic is a belief that hard work and dedication have a moral benefit and an inherent ability virtue or value to strengthen character and individual abilities the next one is interpersonal skills interpersonal skills are the qualities and behavior of a person used to interact with others properly the better the interpersonal skills the better the growth in one's career now with this let us discuss the last part of this session which is salary details of a java developer java programming language is one of the most demanded ones in the it industries let us now discuss the salaries offered to java developers as you can see for a beginner the salary package lies between 3 to 8 lakhs per annum and similarly for an experienced candidate 8 to 13 lakhs per annum and the maximum salary offered to a java developer who is experienced for more than 8 years approximately 28 lakhs per annum or greater than that as well So with this we come to an end of this session I hope you have exactly understood what it takes to become a successful java developer if you have any queries regarding this session then please feel free to write them in the comment section below till then thank you and happy learning